Hey, good morning guys, how are y'all doing? Shave stick Sunday again for you. Uh, it's going to be the uh, Jim Featherweight, it's going to be a razor. We're going to have a bylong brush, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is the vintage palm olive. We're just going to dip it in the water. Yeah. And go right to the face with it. I hope y'all are having a good weekend. If you're enjoying yourself, getting some rest and relaxation. If you work on the weekends, well, I hope that you have a good day at work and relaxing down your day off. How about that? Let's do it that way. This is less than, this is about a 24 hour growth for me. Uh, didn't shave Saturday, had to go into work, but I didn't shave, so it's okay. There we go. Oh, I just love these shave sticks, especially this palm olive shave stick. It's, it's amazing. I've got some of the palm olive cream and I love the smell of both of them. Okay, there we go. Let's get a little bit of coffee in us and we'll get started. Coffee for this morning is going to be a community coffee breakfast blend. Good coffee. All right, so we've had our brush soaking now. Enough warm water. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna just drain that out real fast here. There we go. This is the brush. It's a beautiful brush. Beautiful. Right into a face lather. Here we go. <clears throat> so if you've been following the channel and you're a new subscriber, welcome aboard. I've had a couple new subscribers recently, and I'm happy for that. Like I always say every single time I talk about it, I never thought I'd even have one person subscribe to my channel. I never thought I'd have one person that even cared enough about what I'm doing and the products that I'm using or my opinions about things to want to watch. So thank you. I don't have all the big fancy editing equipment and I don't have all the fancy lights and stuff like that, but I got a Saints flag in the background and a featherweight razor, so I figure I know half of what I'm doing here. And you can see, I mean, you know about a lather, let's talk about a lather, alright? There's the palm model for you. It's a bang up job. Bang up job. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. Okay. I slung it all over the place there. By the way, razor. Dip it in the water. And move our coffee out of the way so we don't spill that. Get our water up here. And let's begin. And this is a uh, this is a tree blade. Okay, on its uh, first use. It is a carbon steel blade. And man, these carbon steel blades are smooth. Very, very, very smooth. Great audio feedback. Look at that. Look at that lather on there. It's not a rather kitchen, but he caught the lather that time. That's pretty funny, huh? Work went okay last week. Nothing, nothing good, nothing bad. Just a normal week. 
We're just about out of our crazy season, as I call it. Just give me just a second. Let me fix something real fast here. Hang on. I got this uh, lather a little dry. It's starting to clog up just a little bit, but we'll get that fixed. There we go. Usually January through uh, about April is our what I call crazy time at work. A lot of overtime, a lot of uh, long days. I'm, I'm thankful to be working, so I don't complain too much. Not too. I complain a little bit, but not too much. Look at look at this. If you've never used a single edge razor before, uh, I highly recommend that you do. They are extremely easy to use, extremely easy to find the angle. And that spot that you're seeing on my lip, that's where I cut it open the other day. So that's not this shape, it just hasn't had a chance to heal yet. Great job. Let's go ahead and uh, relap it for past two now. A little bit more water on it. There you have it. Yeah, that little weed I cut it the other day on a different razor. And uh, just, it hadn't had a chance to heal all the way yet, so that's okay. And you can see with that little bit of soap that I put on the face how much uh, lather I have still remaining. You can see how this horsebrush splays very nicely also. I know this isn't popular uh, culture right now to go using a shaved stick and a horse brush. Supposed to be using the uh, expensive stuff on camera, right? Now, if this is the kind of shave I can get from this stuff. Makes you wonder what the poor folks are doing tonight, don't they? Good, creamy, thick, protective. It's definitely more wet this time than it was last time, which is good. Okay, pass number two. This time we're gonna go up across, uh, across the roof. I like the feather white with this plastic handle. It's very ergonomic. Very ergonomic. And then as you notice, in my neck I'm using my finger, or my thumb, my fingers to stretch the skin. Don't worry, I got my glasses on today so I can see what I'm doing. For those of y'all that wear glasses, you have to share with them on or you share with them off. My problem is I can't see far away, but far away is relative, right? Yeah. Now my cheeks up here, I, I go against the growth on the second pass because I can do it and get away with it. Can't always get away with it, but Rub my cheeks and with the feather weight I can. Especially right here, for my problem areas. There we go. I'm going to go up right here. 
Okay. I'll come back across. And as you see there, I just did all three strokes on the same part of my mustache. Try to get it cleaned up as best I could. I've yet to be able to go completely and totally against the grain on the mustache area. But I can go on a modified path, so I do that instead. It's all about knowing your growth and knowing what you can do and not do, and what you can get away with, what you can't get away with. All right, third pass. I want to just hit the corners of the mouth this time. Instead of doing the full mustache, we'll just hit the corners. asking about the shirt that I have on. Well, I'm glad you asked. Got it from Kohl's. It is the Comfort Soft Tee. About $12 a shirt. It is super comfortable and it's got a pocket. Highly recommend them. If you like a really comfortable t-shirt, like a like an old broken in style t-shirt, yeah, you'll love these shirts from Kohl's. Alright, here we go. Third pass. Plenty of what they call quote unquote residual slickness. Yeah. Even enough for me to be able to make multiple passes here. Multiple we'll passes down here. There you have it. It's the neck area cleaned up. this and I come back up again across the grain. Now on these carbon steel blades you do need to make sure okay to take them out of the razor and dry them off. They will start to rust on you. Try to keep the humidity as low as possible. I got myself the other day and I got it again. I had a bad shave the other day. I just I wasn't paying attention. I was in a hurry. And my angle was off. When your angle gets off, things like that happen. It's not the razor's fault. I was the one driving it, so it's my fault. There you have it. Three pass shave. We're not going to go for a touch up today. Um, we are going to go ahead and dry the face. Put a little bit of wet table, a little bit of uh, styptic pencil. We'll take care of all of this. All right, styptic pencils. If you've never seen them, they look like this. Just dunk them in the water, and then apply to the cut. They do sting a little bit, but not bad. We will go with witch hazel. This is just a Walgreens brand witch hazel, nothing fancy. I just buy the cheapest stuff I can. It does have a bit of alcohol in it, but I don't mind too much. And there you have it. Your simple shave. We're going to follow up with the uh, Parasso single blade. That's your line. Let me show you the restrictor on this. It doesn't have a very big restrictor at all. 
As a matter of fact, it's a very small restrictor, or not even hardly a restrictor at all, I should say. Uh, I'm just going to dump a little bit of this out right here. And since the weather is cold, well, at least relative to where we're at here, I don't mind the bomb. Especially when it smells like this. There you have it, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all have a great day. Hope y'all have a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again next Sunday with another shave stick. Bye.